Hey community, so I wanted to get my uh, thoughts on the Nintendo Direct today. I actually had a little problem getting the Direct started, but once it did, it was fine. I actually rewatched it again, which I've done to all the direct, all the conferences, just just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I will say, uh, Nintendo was always probably the single hardest company for me to judge with any Direct or conference they do, because any title they show. Within their history, since I've been playing Nintendo since the NES, I have a lot of nostalgia towards all their titles, all their characters. So when they show something, it's hard to separate nostalgia from, is this a great game or is this something other people will be interested in? And I think that's what a lot of people feel towards Nintendo. Nintendo is just something that everybody knows. My son, since he was very little, automatically grabbed onto Mario. He grabbed onto Sonic. These characters were easy for him to grab onto Yoshi. And so... To this day, he knows what Yoshi and Mario looks like. He knows the theme song to Mario Brothers. We we were having it was funny. We went to this fun run that he does with this. They have the steam to run, and they played the Mario music, and he immediately knew what it was. They didn't say what it was. He immediately said that's Mario's theme music, and that's how iconic Nintendo characters are to everybody. But I also knew Nintendo was going to have more directs. This wasn't the only one that they were going to have over E3. So, I knew they weren't going to show, like, everything in one video. This was going to be like, here's the beginning. I knew they were going to start off the way expected to. Let's get out of the stuff that you already know about, that we've talked about in the past. You know, the Wonderful 101, which looks awesome and interesting to me. They did show Bayonetta 2 gameplay, finally. Bay I, I played the demo of Bayonetta 1. I thought it looked awesome. Bayonetta 2 looks like the same game. Except they cut her hair short. So if you liked Bayonetta, you're, you're going to like Bayonetta 2. The Mario Kart 8 looked amazing. I mean, the fact that they're they're going to, you know, you're not only going to just be able to, to ride on the road, but the road could be sideways or it could be upside down. Obviously, they added Mario Kart 7 features like underwater racing. The motorcycle's back. The glider's back. So... Mario Kart 8 looked... Mario Kart 8 is not a title I'm worried about. I know that's going to be a great racing game. The Mario Kart series as a whole has always been good. So they, Then they show the new Mario Party. Or, excuse me. Yeah, the new Mario Party. Okay. It's a Mario Party game. It's just like Mario Kart. You know what you're getting. And then they go on to... They show the Pokemon, of course. And then you get on to the couple games I wasn't expecting. I was not expecting a new Donkey Kong Country game. I... They, you know, I don't know, to me it just hasn't seen that long since the last one came out. But they showed the, the trailer to it. It looked really good. And the new one's called Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which is better. I, I was glad they didn't go like Donkey Kong Country Returns 2 or something. Uh, they're having new villains in this, which I think is really good, because let's be honest, when it comes to Nintendo games, well, the games are sometimes formalistic, where every villain is the same, and it's good to see they're adding new villains to the Donkey Kong Country series. It looked beautiful. I mean, there are new gameplay features in it. There's new camera angles. The game looked awesome in HD, so definitely a game I'm also... I've always loved the Donkey Kong games, Donkey Kong Country, so I was already in on that one. And Monolith's game, still only called X. They really haven't actually officially said the name of it. That game looks amazing to me, awesome. I mean, the whole mech robot thing, that they showed more gameplay, the open-worldness of the game, the creatures... It looks like a very, very interesting game, and I'm very interested in that game. By far, to me, that is still the best-looking Nintendo title they got coming out, is Metal Off Sauce X game. As far as it's called X. Nintendo never calls it X, so I'm assuming they're waiting because it's available sometime in 2014. I'm assuming at some point they're going to really give us a name for it. And the problem, the reason why people have a problem with that, because the Red X is a Xenogear X. Then I have Xenogear, and it has a Red X on the cover. So that's why people see that, they wonder... Xenoblade 2? Xenogear? What, what, what is this? Is this another X game you're making? You just haven't told us the title, or is they going to leave it as X? But I think that by far the biggest thing that surprised, excited everybody today was the Super Smash Brothers. I knew they were going to show it today. Uh, a lot of people loved that series, and it was exciting they showed it. They added the villager to the game. You know, it was nice to see all the characters. But I think really what everybody's going to be talking about of this Nintendo Direct by far is simply that they've added Mega Man into Super Smash Bros. Not only have they added him in, but he looks awesome. And the fact that they use they so much time for the CG cuts to show you Mega Man, 
it looked amazing. And the fact not only is that Mega Man's in the game, and they show him in the game, and they show Rocket, but they show the fact that he's going to have the be able to access his abilities from the game, from Woodman and all the different abilities he has. So it's really cool that they they brought the old Mega Man back. It's really cool that he's it kind of fitting that he's back in a Nintendo game for me, and I'm really excited that he's in it. That that really makes me interested in Super. I, I was interested in Super Smash Brothers, but this really gets me excited for the game. Mega Man is still one of the games I clearly remember from my NES days, and I'm glad that he's back. It's it's again kind of ironically that of all people, Capcom still can't bring Mega Man ga- back in a game, but Nintendo can. I wish if Capcom wasn't going to do anything with them, that they would actually just sell it to Nintendo. Because at least you knew Nintendo would treat Mega Man right, you know, because Capcom doesn't do anything besides allowing there to be a comic book of them, and we're going to throw them in a fighting game here or there. But really cool Nintendo Delect. Uh, That was all my my thoughts on it. Again, after seeing the conferences, Sony and Nintendo, when you talk about their systems, are still neck and neck. I still... There's things about Nintendo I really love, and there's things about Sony, and that's my problem right now with the directs is... Right now, Sony and Nintendo are, like, right there. Even though Sony did a lot to prove their stock of me, but I really take everything in for it, they're still both neck and neck right now in this generation. But it's great to see those games. So what did you guys think of the Nintendo E3 Direct? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts below. Though I run it, I, they, the one thing that made me laugh was, I know there's more, because when they go, this is real quick, when they go to E3 and he says, look at the banner, you see Yoshi's New Island sitting in the banner, but they did not show that at all in the, the, the Direct, so... Hopefully they show that in other new games that hopefully will surprise us uh, in directs to come. So I will see you guys for another video.